Yo, I just got something super dope in the mail. Um, I saw somebody on Twitch using these markers, and I had to get them for myself. I have the Ohuhu markers. I uh, open, I just opened them up right now, and these are like gonna be my first impressions. I've used Copics, I use Prismacolors, I use Pro markers, I use Artist Loft. Uh, I heard that these were the best, better than Copics. I heard. Um, I was watching Eiffel Art on Twitch, and oh, he, if you watch him, you know he's like all over. He uses Copics all the time, and he said he likes these more. The brush tip is like super sturdy, so I had to try them. I got I got some skin colors and I got some uh, pastel colors. So what I'm gonna do today for you guys is a demonstration. I'm gonna make some stickers. I'm gonna draw a bunch of Halloween themed stickers using like pastel colors, and I'm gonna print them out, and we're gonna see how they look, the quality and all that stuff. So. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little doodle real quick. We're gonna time lapse it, all the drawings, and then I'll get to the coloring part. And we'll do a little voiceover. So, hold on, stay here, don't go nowhere. Be right back. Okay, now you have to hear me blabber on. First, I wanted to say I had to make this video super long because I wanted to show you guys like beginning to end the process of using these markers. I am I never do traditional art. I'm trying to get back into it. That's why I got these markers. So you're gonna see me like trial and error, not figuring out what colors to use and all. So if you're like me, you just like to wing it. Um, this is like a perfect video for you just to watch, put on in the background while you draw. Yeah, this one's gonna be like 20, 30 minute long video showing you beginning to end every, every single color I choose. I try to cut a little bit like of me breathing out, but it's literally like every every choice I make you guys get to see it beginning to end and at the end of the video I actually turn all these drawings into stickers so if you want to stay to the end and see that and hear what I have to say about that please watch then you'll be able to see how the colors look once you print these out on paper if that's your plan I go through like three different multi-liners trying to figure out which kind of pen I want to use then I go through another process where I use the, the markers first and then go over it with pen which is probably my favorite way to do it back when I used to use Copics that's how I would always do it because no matter what pen I would use it would always bleed also I'm using a Canson mixed media paper and it bleeds through that happens with like every paper but uh, I think this is like the best paper for for me because I also use um uh, gouache and color pencils and all that and it works perfectly on this and then I like the uh, spiral brown sketchbooks and let me add just one more thing uh shout out to all my patreons uh if you're not part of the patreon I just dropped a new brush pack it's like stock procreate brushes but I customize them to my liking there's some cool ones in there they're all cool but there's like I use every single one of these all the time but there's like four in it that I really really love I use them all the time so if you're not part of the patreon sticker every month brush time cool stuff yo go join the patreon but anyways that's enough for me blabbering uh long video put it on while you're drawing while you're working um you can hear me it. but i love these markers spoiler alert i love these markers i love oh hoo hoo i want to get more colors i'm hoping colors and i hope you guys like these sticker designs that i did uh halloween sticker designs a sticker pack uh posting this on instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram follow me on instagram watch me uh draw with these markers all right peace out Okay, everything is all inked up now, and we have 36 skin tone markers right here, which really, they look fall, like, like fall colors, so these might go perfect. And then we have some 48 pastel colors. So I'm gonna bounce between these two. I have this pumpkin right here, this one. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do him like an orangish red, maybe. So I have the R27, it's pale mauve. I don't even know if I said that right. I'm gonna swash it right here. Nah, no, that's too dark. But I like the darkness. I might use a brown for his clothing. Let's try a boom. Tierracotta. Tierracotta. See, I like that too, but that's super brown as well. I need a little bit brighter. Let's try salmon. Maybe the salmon will work good. Hmm, not orange enough for me. Let's try one more on this side. Powdery orange. I like that. Okay, it doesn't look good on this paper. Let me try it on. Okay, it's like a, it's like a neon type of orange. So I'm gonna color this one orange, and I love the tips are just like oh, it's kind of runny. It's um the mark the uh, multi liners I use are kind of runny. So I'm gonna lightly go over those because I don't want them to um bleed. It's bleeding. I mean the markers they go through. Let's see. Let's see if it went through. All right, it goes through a little bit, which is expected because it's an alcohol marker. But uh, I'm just gonna do these like super scribbly is the style I'm kind of going for is like a kind of like an unfinished look. 
I think I'll do all the pumpkins this orange because I like this orange a lot. I'll probably do them all this orange and then I'll go over them, like give them a shadow with like a, like a reddish maybe. So this tip right here is it's kind of like the Copic tips, but it's like way more sturdy. Like you can keep the point, like, let me do some boom. Or you do like thick lines, man, that's, honestly, I have a, I don't have too many Copics. I have probably like 20 Copics. I rarely use because I don't have that many colors, but I, these I can't even tell the difference. Like in in the colors, I can't really tell the difference. But the quality, the point, and everything is just like way better. Like it's it's a brush, but it's not it's not a floppy brush. You know. Let me just speed through this real quick. Okay, so I finished all the orange. I like the neon orange. The only thing I don't like, you can probably see here and then a little bit over here. The the multi-liner I used, um, it, it, it was, it's runny. And I know that happens with uh, alcohol markers, but um, sometimes I want to say it was um, Prisma colors I used. I can draw with these and then go over with the Prisma colors and it won't smear, but it could just be the paper, honestly. It might just be the paper because it's like hit or miss i don't i never know when it's gonna happen but that's the orange let's do let's do a blue vampire let me find a blue i have this b030 frost blue let me i need another swatching paper hold on let me grab another paper okay i have this watercolor paper i'm gonna test out this blue uh this is the frost blue let's give it a whirl boom 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 let's let that dry a little bit let's try the other side i like that but it's super super blue let's try what is this this is a a blue gray let's try that one Kinda like that, but it's still too dark. Let's give hmm, pale grayish blue. All right, these are all super blue, or super dark is what I'm trying to say. Let me try one more, and if it's not gonna work, then we'll just go with one of these, a neutral gray. I don't really wanna do gray gray. Yeah, I don't want to do gray gray. Let's just go with, I think I'm gonna go with this blue. That was the frost blue. It's super blue that I, I want like super saturated colors, but also like that pastel. So let's try that on the vampire. All right, let's hope we don't smear. I'm doing like a dab, like dots, because I don't want to get any of the ink smeared. Uh, now that I look at it, he reminds me of um, Marceline's dad from uh, Adventure Time. And I love it, I love it. I need to figure out what color I'm gonna use for um, shading too as well. Shading too as well. I think I wanna do a purple. I wanna color his clothes purple. Cause red is like typical, or, you know, vampires, red, black, viola for the purple. Oh, I love it. That's perfect. Let's do his inside of his cape. Purple. We'll do his tie purple. Let's do the bottom of his shoes purple as well. And then his little suit. Let's do something like a dark gray. Let's see, we got a neutral gray right here. Yeah, that might have to work. Again, I'm just gonna be dabbing it on. I don't wanna fill it in. I want it to look unfinished. Once I'm done adding uh, the, the colors, I'm gonna go over it again with um, multi-liner and I'm gonna add a little bit more of like sketchiness to it. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go on to the uh, witch. Okay, I wanted to make her blue. But I did the vampire blue, so I might just do her the regular green, or I can do like a pinkish. We have this one right here, the V30. I would say it's 
Oh, wait, did it? We did this one. This is what we used. No, wait, is it Viola Muavi? Is that what I said right? Mu Muavi Pale Lilac. I like that. I like the word pale lilac. Maybe that's a little too. Hmm, for skin color, how would that look? Let's see what the regular, like a regular green. Oh, I kind of like that actually. Let's try a pale one. This is a green shadow. Too dark. That could be shot. Actually, that could be shadow. Uh, we have a lime green right here. Pastel lime green. Uh, a little doo doo color. It's a little bit like dookie. Let's try one more. Maybe if we did like a uh, like a turquoise. Horizon green. That looks turquoise. A little too dark. What do I do? Let's try red gray. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I think I'm gonna go with this green right here. The yellowish green. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Yellowish green for her skin. All right, let's hope I don't mess this up. Beep, 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 beep. I wonder if there's like a workaround besides doing like the dots to not get the colors to smear. Yeah, green, green skin. Okay, I, I like that, I like that. I'm thinking we have to do like orange for her hair. That's like mandatory. Let's see. Super bright orange, I love. And it's kind of golden though. I kind of like that. Do I do it? Do I do it? No, I'm not. I'm gonna use this for... I'm gonna use this on the broom, the bristles. And then the buckle. Lavender mist right here. Yeah, I love that, I love that actually. It goes good with the yellow. That's exactly what I wanted right here. It's almost bluish. I'm not like, I don't do traditional art all the time, so I don't really know what colors work well. How to like make things not bleed. And then like, I don't even know what, how I want to do things. I'm just going with the flow. But we'll see, man, we'll see. I think I want to give her yellow eyes too. I think that's what I'm gonna do for her eyes. Buttercup yellow, let's see how that looks. Buttercup, oh, that's too yellow. Cream for her hair? No, 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 no. We need, for her hair, I want it to be kind of red. Let's try reddish yellow. Perfect. So far, I'm liking the markers. They flow like good, they blend good. But I'm thinking now I should went with a more of a red for the hair. This is fun, this is fun. I like this one, but there's too many colors going on. I want the colors to be minimal. Okay, I'm gonna do the ghost kind of the same, um, probably the same blue as the vampire. Um, because they're white, like sheets basically. Well, they're um, technically they're real ghosts, I would say. So I'm thinking I want to do the blue, but let's try this blue real quick. This is um, bluish gray. I think I might go with that bluish gray. Let's test it on this first one right here. I just want to do the outsides. Maybe we can make one of the ghosts kind of like a yellow color. I don't know, yellow bed sheets, pee pee bed sheets. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, I think. Let's go to the next one, maybe uh, buttercup yellow on this one. No. Let's do the red gray on this one right here, and then we'll do purple, purple shoes. Alright, that's a little bit darker than I wanted, but I think that'll work. I think it'll work. It's fine. I see some pencils. Pencil marks I gotta erase. Let's color the legs. I kinda wanna... No. Let's see, I'll do the legs. 
that whole color but i'm not i'm not all right let's color in the shoes i want them to be like a purple this purple right here And then the skin, we have tons of skin color. So let's do, this is pastel peach. That's the color we're going with. And then we're gonna blend it into that gray. I like that. I like the way it blends. It blends nice, it blends good. All right, that one's cool. Let's go to the next one. Oh, this one got Crocs. What color should I do the Crocs? We had to do something crazy like uh, green Crocs. We do, use a lot of blue. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to do the Crocs that color. That's like a crazy in your face color. Like Crocs usually are just like in your face, man. Like, man, I do got Crocs on, man. All right, man. Okay, cool. Cool. I like it. I like the sloppiness. Next one, next one. This one is going to be. He got sandals. I want this one to be kind of yellow because he's like dirty. Primrose. There we go. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. It's kind of like peepee -pee color. This one's supposed to be like a pumpkin underneath the ghost. But I want him to be like pee pee boy. This is the pee pee boy one. What is ripped up sheet? Should I put like a pee stain right here? I think I will. It's a pee pee stain, bro. That's a pee stain, bro. And then let's give um. Let's give that little stain, I mean that little patch, let's make that like a little red color. Perfect. And then we'll give them some like green sandals. Okay, okay, let's give them some skin color. Okay, PP Ghost. Next. Okay, we're on the last couple. Let's do. We need like a dark gray again for the robe. And then we're gonna do this gray's perfect. We're just gonna do like a light blue for a shadow on the skull face. I really wanna figure out what kind of pen I could use that would work well with the uh, multi-liner, because I don't, I don't like how it smears. It's kind of bugging me, man. It's kind of bugging me. This video is probably super boring, too, but it's like, I gotta show you these markers, man. I gotta show you these markers, man. Okay. Okay. Let's do his little ciphers, whatever. Let's do that, like a dark gray as well. Alright, this little zombie dude, this green shadow one was super dark, huh? It was super dark. I don't know if I want that dark. But I have this pale yellow. I kind of like that pale yellow, but it's a little too yellow. Let's see. Lemon chiff lawn or whatever. Chiff. A little too yellow, man. Need like a green. We could do the horizon green like the witch. You know what? The witch wasn't Horizon Green. I forgot how green it was, but I like this one. Horizon Green. Boom. Yeah. That's like a perfect green. That's like kind of blue. And I don't know why all of a sudden I just got the urge to play The Last of Us. I have no idea why. I mean, it could be the zombie. His brain looks like a quarter ships. Quarter ships. Alright, we got a green. Let's do like a, a pink or something for his little brain. Too bright. Uh, we have light pink right here. 
I like how bright that, like how vibrant that one is. Let's go with um, light hot pink. That might be the one out there, light hot pink. I think that's the one. Bring out the whole ocean. Yeah, I think that might be the one out there. There we go, perfect. Little brain goops. And then his shirt, I want it to be, um, I want like a, uh, like brown pants. That works. Brown pants. And I want to do like a, um, I see like blue stripes on his, uh, Perfect, perfect. Bring out the whole ocean. Let's go on to the next one. All right, this one's like a little potion. I'm thinking like a, I need like a red or like a, um, I feel like a red would be good or a pink. Holly, holly hawk? Holly hawk. It's like holy heck. Holly hawk, that'll do, honestly. All right, Holly Hawk. Here we go, Holly. Boom. That is perfect. Yeah, just don't, please don't bleed. Please don't bleed, man. I gotta get like a, um, Shadow in here. I wonder if I go over with the same color, it'll be like shadowy. All right, we'll let it dry and I'll go over with the same color and see what happens. But for the little cork, I got this random brown right here. It's like a golden. What color is this brown? This is reddish yellow. I forgot about the little pumpkin dudes. Let's give them some cool colors too bright too bright let's just fly through these i'm just gonna fly through these let's just give them like a nice off-white yellow shirt and we'll give them some brown little pantalones some dark brown pantalones i like the way this this one really flows really good yeah there we go and for skin color i'm gonna do like a uh, a little off-white pinkish Pinkish, pinkish, slinkish. And then we need, I should've kept that brown for his little stem right here. Yeah. Let's hold on to that one. All right, these guys, I know for a fact, I want him also to have like brown overalls on on the left. But I want it to be like a, uh, a reddish. A reddish looking brown let me see what i got for that no 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 let's go with a a honey this one's called honey i like that honey right here boom a little bit of honey a little bit of honey boom boom honey and then like what color shirt do we do with honey let's do his little stem honey let's do his little stem honey as well Let's get a green in here for their little leaves. Green. Green. And then let's do... This one looks like he's wearing jeans or something, so we'll do like a little blue. A wee little blue. With his belt, we'll have like a little gray in it um i like him with a white shirt but i feel like his shirt should be like yellow let's try this yellow if it doesn't work it doesn't work it's all good i like it i like it a lot and then he needs like a little skin color let's give him a little bit of this dark skin tone okay and then this one needs like a a little bit of a lighter skin tone 
whatever happens happens we're just choosing colors now and then his shirt I like his shirt white though we'll keep that white now we need like now we just need like a shade color something we could shade with some thinking gray but uh, do I want to use gray can I use purple let's find a light purple red gray I can't think of what color to use it looks like I have two red grays no red gray 11 I might use let's put these ones back I'm thinking I'm gonna use a red gray 11 if you can focus let's try it Okay, this could either make everything look really good or really bad. So we're gonna test it over here on all these colors. It kind of looks like a shadow, but it's like too dark. Way too dark. Hmm. On the blue, that's way too dark. I need a lighter one. All right. Let's try this one. I like the yellow, yellow gray, but no. But this is so hard, man. I feel like I need a little shadow on some of these. Do I have a lighter gray? Lime green, red gray 11. Do I have a warm gray? Yeah, we do have a warm gray five. Warm gray five. It might, it might work. Ugh, I don't know, I might ruin it. What do I do, bros? Green gray too. Okay, see I like the green gray as well. Blender hook, blender hook. But it's too dark. It looks good in the brown. Dang, do I just chance it and give it a whirl? Do we hit it with blue? Frost blue again on top. Nope, that's not it. That's not the one. That ain't it, bros. That's not gonna be it. That's too dark. Brother, what do I do? What would you guys do in this situation? I'm just gonna do this one. Blue gray two. Let's test it out on. Let's test it out on boom. vampire. Oh, actually, actually looks cool on him. Well, blue and blue it might. It probably works better. Try on his little cape, and I love it. I love it. I love it on the vampire, it's like subtle. Let's try it on the, the witch. All right, this is us testing out the blending of the Ohuhu markers. Let's see how it looks. So far, so good. It works perfectly on the blue, on the orange, and you know what? It actually does work on the orange too. I actually like it. I love it actually. Let's give a little bit of shading over here. I actually love it a lot. I think I'm gonna do, you know what? I'm gonna do another drawing right now of something that I've been like working on and I'm gonna shade it, but I'm not gonna add line art until afterwards. See if that works.
All right, dudes, here it is, new day. Um, I let it like marinate overnight. This is what I did with the markers. I went over it, I sketched it with a pencil and then I colored it in and then I went over it with a, a multi-liner. Here's the three different multi-liners I used for all the drawings, but this drawing, I used the Zig and this seems to be like the darkest blacks. I like this one the most. I just don't really like the tip, the tip is like pointy. I prefer like the a rounded tip um, but yeah this is what this one looks like I actually like the uh, watercolor splotchy sketchy unfinished look that's what's going for this and that's how I think I might make these into stickers too but let me show you the Halloween one now all right finished product on the Halloween um, I didn't finish this one because I didn't really like this one this one uh, kind of looks he was supposed to be like a little monkey but yeah I ain't feeling it um colors came out sick I went over everything with a uh, Prisma color color pencils. I don't know where I put those, but just that, just to add some more sketchiness to it. And then what I did was I made these into stickers. Boom. So here's how they look printed up. Not too different. I had to actually in Photoshop boost the saturation a little bit because my camera. I'm using the iPhone. The pictures came out super desaturated. But here's how the stickers looked. Pretty cool stickers. I think they came out super dope. Um, but what I did also is I made it into a sticker pack. 11 stickers in this thing. Oh wait, I have one more right here. Oh, it's just a duplicate. But uh, yeah, that's how it came out. Um, these markers are sick. For the price, they're cheaper than Copics, but they're basically, they do what Copics do. But the one thing that they do better than Copics is they have this this tip. It's just like sharp and it doesn't move. It's, it's uh, let me see if I can show you an example. Um, this is like, I don't know how to explain it. Right, I'm gonna try to capture this on the camera. But if you can, I don't know if you can tell, but it it bends a lot. Like when you try to get like a nice fine tip, it like, it bends. Mm, like a real brush, basically. It's like a real brush. This one's more of like a pen. It's like super sturdy. And you're able to get like fine lines because of how sturdy it is like a pen but it still has like the brush tip features if you hold it like at an angle you're still able to get them some thick lines but anyways that's it we're all done here uh oh hoo hoo i plan on getting more i want all the colors i have pastels and the skin tones right now but i hope this I hope you guys watched this whole video. If you guys did, I appreciate it so much, dudes. Uh, make sure you check out the Patreon. Make sure you check out the sticker pack, Halloween sticker pack. Um, I'm only making a few of these, so probably like 10 I'll make. I think I'll make 10 of these. So if you guys can check that out, that'd be dope. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. Oh, hoo hoo. I'm making dope markers, honestly, and affordable markers. These are like half the price of Copics. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm talking too much. Uh, peace out. See you in the next one.